How to Increase Max Energy Cell Capacity in Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom What to do with your Zonaite, Zona Charges, and Crystallized Charges It turns out, the Zona, an ancient race of sky-dwelling magical engineers in the Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, had a pretty complex economy. So it's natural that, as protagonist Link, it might take you some time to sort through the ins and outs of Zonaite, Zona Charges, Crystallized Charges, Forge Constructs, and Crystal Refineries as you take your first steps in, above, and below Hyrule. Fortunately, we're here to help. In this guide, we'll explain how to gather the precious material Zonaite, how to turn it into Crystallized Charges, how to spend said charges to increase Link's max energy cell power, and what to do with all of your leftover Zona charges. Where to find Zonaite? The first step toward increasing your max energy cell power in Tears of the Kingdom is fairly straightforward, gather all of the Zonaite you can. To do so, simply head into the depths, the vast underground map that mirrors the world on Hyrule's surface. You can access the depths by diving into any of the red holes shown on the surface map. If you haven't yet uncovered much of the map with Skyview Towers, follow Robbie the Parapad Scientist's case T-Line. He'll lead you into the depths once you speak to him, to him at Lookout Landing. Once you're down in the depths, gathering Zonaite is fairly simple. Keep an eye out for Zonaite deposits those stone formations that are often clustered around larger boulders, like the one below. After breaking them with a stone or boulder-fused weapon, they'll drop at least three clumps of Zonaite apiece. Furthermore, any enemy you kill in the depths be they Bokoblins, Moblins, or Lizalfos will drop Zonaite upon dying. Froxes, those frog-like monsters wandering the depths, will drop a large Zonaite after they die. Large Zonaite serve the same function as their smaller counterparts, but we'll get to that below. Simply put, if you spend any amount of time in the depths, you're likely to resurface with a healthy amount of Zonaite. Although it's ultimately most useful for buying crystallized charges and increasing your max energy cell power, which we explain below, it can also be spent to make auto-build creations that you don't have the necessary parts for. Where to trade Zonaite for crystallized charges? Once you have a good amount of Zonaite, it's time to head to a forge construct. If you found one already, it will be marked on your map as a brown jar on one of those beige squares, as shown below. While there is a forge construct on the Great Sky Island, Tears of the Kingdom's tutorial area, we've found it easier to fast travel to the Great Abandoned Central Mine, which you'll unlock as a fast travel point simply by following Joshua and Robbie's K's T-Line after first arriving at Lookout Landing. If you haven't done that quest yet, fret not you can simply head west after diving into the chasm at Eastern Abbey, as shown below, the yellow arrow shows Link's location in the depths as it relates to the surface. There's a forge construct only a few feet from the Great Abandoned Central Mine fast travel point. Speak to it, if you haven't yet, and then walk over to its shelves, on which you'll see an array of shiny blue slash white items. You're looking for crystallized charges, the pyramidal items on the shelves on the right. Simply exchange your Zonaite for as many crystallized charges as you can. If you have any large Zonaite, swap those for large crystallized charges, which are worth 20 normal crystallized charges. You can also spend Zonaite on Zona charges and large Zona charges, but those are so plentiful as Zona enemy drops, and in defunct Zona constructs in the Sky Islands, that we don't recommend wasting Zonaite on them. Once you have a total of at least 100 crystallized charges, you're ready for the final step toward acquiring an energy well, and increasing the max power capacity of Link's energy cell. These names are getting confusing. But basically, the energy cell is the Zona item on Link's belt that powers Ultra Hand creations and Zona items when there are no Zona batteries attached. It's the third meter Link can increase in Tears of the Kingdom, alongside the returning stamina and heart meters. It's worth noting that you can also find crystallized charges and large crystallized charges by exploring other abandoned mines in the depths, and by killing certain construct enemies in the Sky Islands. However, 
using forge constructs is the easiest method we've found for gathering this valuable resource. How to increase max energy cell capacity? In order to finally gain an energy well, which will increase the max capacity for Lynx energy cell, you'll need to head to a crystal refinery. If you did even a modicum of exploring during the Great Sky Island tutorial section, you may have stumbled upon one without noticing. Fast travel back to Nachoya Shrine on the Great Sky Island there's a crystal refinery just to the west of the shrine, in the very same room. Speak to the construct NPC, who will give you one energy well for every 100 crystallized charges in your inventory. Each of these energy wells will grant you one more green bar in Lynx battery-like energy cell meter. The higher your energy cell capacity, the longer you can pilot Ultra Hand and auto build creations without having to rely on Zona batteries or the Zona charges in your inventory. These materials are better spent on the gumball machine like Zona dispensers scattered around the Sky Islands. <laughs>